Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. Today's video is going to be the benefits of inpatient nursing versus outpatient nursing. As a nurse for five years now and I sort of know the benefits of both being in both situations for about the same amount of time as well so I can give them both a fair equal evaluation um, I also did speak to a few of my nursing friends to see what they were thinking um, in regards to like pros versus cons um, I do have quite a few nursing friends, so they were able to give their input as well. It's not just hearsay from me. We're going to start with inpatient. So the pros and cons of inpatient nursing are the, I feel like the cons definitely outweigh the pros, um, just in my opinion with my life and my lifestyle. Um, so for pros for inpatient nursing, I do have at the top of the list scheduling so and not not even just like flexibility with scheduling so when you work inpatient generally you work three 12-hour shifts if you are a normal floor nurse um, you usually have to work nights weekends most holidays um, however you do get a lot of flexibility when it comes to picking your schedule so if you wanted to work uh, like three days in a row and then be off for X amount of days and then work three days at the end of the next week, then you can get like eight days off and take no PTO. So that is one thing that I do miss about being able to, about working inpatient is being able to be very flexible with your schedule. Um, with that flexibility, you're able to like schedule doctor's appointments and not use PTO and go on vacation not use PTO just by strategically scheduling yourself to work three days in a row at the beginning of the week and three days in a row in a row at the end of the next week. Now that only works if you're self-scheduling. If you are given your schedule, that obviously that's gonna be different, but um when you're self-scheduling, that is one benefit to it. Um another so that was really the only pro I one other pro that I have and was told by one of my friends that are a nurse is the friendships you build. Um, in an outpatient setting, I feel like, yeah, you do. I still built plenty of friendships. I am friends with a lot of people that I um, became friends with in the outpatient setting I'm in. However, the group of nurses I worked with in my inpatient job were such a close knit group. And I feel like that's because of, uh, you know, working nights and working so closely together and having to help each other so much and um the friend I was talking to in specific she's still friends with those friends that she made while working inpatient um whereas like she's made some friends outpatient and we were not really in touch as much with them anymore um so that's like that's one other benefit to working inpatient um most of the con most of the things i have for inpatient are cons um cons one of them we're gonna do cons now of inpatient nursing uh one con that i definitely have for inpatient nursing is the fact that you have to work um shift requirements so you have to work so many nights so many weekends so many holidays so many weekend nights uh friday nights don't count as a weekend night they only count as a you know, a night shift. It doesn't count as a weekend, like depending on where you work and what unit and such. Um, also having to work holidays, every single holiday. Um, I excuse the sirens also. Um, I've worked in my nursing career. I worked multiple holidays where I didn't get to see my family. Um, it's really not that big of a deal. It, was, it wasn't that big of a deal at the time, but now that I've had like different circumstances happen to me in my life, I definitely cherish being able to go home and spend time 
with my family on holidays. Um, so another, like I said, working nights, night shift is not fun. Um, some people love working nights. I used to be a straight night shift kind of gal. I, with nights, you could avoid management. You could, it wasn't as crazy generally. Um, I, I did like working nights when I did. And now looking back on it, I saw how bad it was for my mental health and my wellness and I'm glad I don't have to work nights anymore. Um, I slept terribly. Trying to sleep during the day is the worst thing. I, nobody is going to give two craps about you sleeping when they need to cut their grass or your landlord needs to install carpeting in the apartment above you. Like I, they don't care that you're sleeping for night shift. It's too bad. Um, that was one thing that was not great about working nights. Another con I have for working inpatient is going to be the ratios. Um, that's everybody's, one of the bigger topics in nursing is definitely safe staffing ratios. Um, I felt like when I worked inpatient, the ratios were never great. Uh, I did have to take more patients than I felt was safe on occasion. Um, and sometimes that's just what you had to do, but I didn't feel like it was ever safe for patients. And on top of that, it's not safe for you. It's not safe for your license. Like you are putting yourself at risk when you do that. And when you work inpatient, you don't really get a choice. So I'm sure I've missed quite a few. I've had a lot of people with very strong emotions about not liking working inpatient. Um, I don't think I would ever go back to working inpatient. So I guess we're gonna go now to the pros and cons of working outpatient. So I currently work in an outpatient position. Um, I worked there for a little over two years now. Um, so for pros for working outpatient would be working no nights, no weekends, no holidays, weekdays only. Um, sometimes I guess, I guess weekends aren't that big of a deal to some people, but when you are friends with people who work a normal schedule, no weekends, it's definitely not, it's definitely harder to work every single weekend or every other weekend or, so having every weekend off is really, really great. Um, also, I don't work holidays and I don't work night shifts. And as we already touched with the inpatient nursing cons um working no nights no holidays i can go home and see my family anytime i want and i sleep better um and because i sleep better i have less stress and less anxiety um another pro to working in pay or outpatient is honestly i my friends and i were saying today it's really just the mental health stability that you get from it um, it's not, it's stressful still working outpatient, but it's a different kind of stress. It's not the, your life is on the line kind of stress. Like you could die any second if I, you know, look at you the wrong way kind of stress. Um, it's more of a, oh, I'm stressed because I'm busy. Oh, I'm stressed because I have to do X, Y, and Z. And, um, so, so and so is still calling me, trying to talk to me about something that I don't have time to deal with right now. That's the sort of stress I feel like I deal with more so or dealing with um, doing other people's jobs. I do deal with that a lot. Uh, but I definitely feel like my mental health has become so much better since becoming an outpatient nurse. And uh, one of the girls that I work with in my office has said the same thing multiple times. I brought her over into our office from an inpatient situation that was very bad and very hard on her mental health. And since I did work there also, it was also super hard on my mental health. And now that she is working outpatient, it, her mental health has gone up so much, so incredibly much. Um, another pro to working outpatient is having a set schedule. So when you work inpatient, sometimes if they make your schedule or they move your schedule around depending on how you do it uh sometimes you could work like every other day so you have like you're working 
night shift, two nights in a row, you have a day off working day shift, that sort of thing. Um, or, you know, you could work this Wednesday, but not work next Wednesday or with the working outpatient, you do work. I work Monday through Friday. Um, sometimes you can work four times. So you would work four days a week and you'd have an extra day off, but my schedule never changes unless someone else needs the day off and or if I need to leave early one day as I've said before I do work I work four nine hour shifts one four hour shift so if like such as my friend if she needs off or she needs to leave early on a Wednesday for example her and I can switch and I can work or I can leave early on a Friday and she can leave early on a Wednesday so my schedule is always concrete. I'm always going to work Monday, Tuesday, nine hours, Wednesday, four hours, Thursday, Friday, nine hours. Um, I'm never going to have to worry about working the weekend. I'm never going to have to worry about working a holiday. I have every single holiday off. Um, that is definitely a benefit, knowing your schedule, knowing I can do X, Y, and Z on such and such days. Um, I can have such a set routine where like, I go to spin classes every single Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that is definitely a pro. Um, one con with that though, is that you, you are working four to five days a week. So if you work 10 hour shifts, like some of the nurses that are in my outpatient clinic, um, they work four days a week. They work 10 hour shifts. They don't get to leave until six o'clock at night. And that doesn't really fit my lifestyle therefore I work five days a week as I said what my schedule just was and um that is like a con in some ways because you can't make it's harder to make appointments um I do have to make all of my appointments on Wednesday afternoons or take PTO which is annoying if you want to take a vacation you have to take PTO because you have to work every single day of the week it's not like I can schedule my shifts three in a row in the beginning and three in the row three in a row at the end um so that is one downfall um one pro to working out patient though is when you're scheduling vacations you don't schedule with 30 other nurses on your unit um i work with a, a group of three nurses it's, there's three of us in our group um so i can have whatever week i want off and you know if um if my friend wants a, that week off instead and I don't have anything planned, then that's fine, take it. Otherwise, um, I have 51 other weeks in the year I can choose from. So that's definitely a pro. Um, a pro for me versus working, for outpatient versus working inpatient is I did end up making more money working outpatient. Um, currently, they're working to increase the pay of nurses in the health system I work in. So inpatient nurses will end up making a little more money than me, but currently I do make more money in my current position. All right, well, that is the pros versus cons of working inpatient versus outpatient. Um, I'm sure I've missed quite a few things, but these are just the things that I could think of. And I discussed with some of my friends, like I said earlier, who are also nurses. So if you have any other pros or cons, please make sure you list them down below for us. So other people can see them. Um, if you're an outpatient nurse, then maybe you have some more pros or cons to the list you could add. Um, I feel like most nurses start out inpatient, so most of us probably do know already what it's like to be an inpatient nurse. But if there's something else you can think of that I missed, list it down below. And um, make sure you subscribe so you can see any of the new videos I'm coming out with. Um, I'll be posting at least twice a week if you are interested. And I will see you all later. Bye, everyone.